You know, Brianna, today is the first day of summer. We've been talking about these triple digits. I'm scared they're still going to be here. It's hot. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I don't think it's getting any better for us, is it, Josh? Yeah, they aren't going anywhere. And in fact, we're actually going to see that temperature climb here as we go through the week. Already out there, Clark Grief at Cam McLean showing I-14 moving pretty nicely in Bell County. It's warm. 80 degrees is here at the uh, 5 o'clock hour. Feels like 83, too, when you factor in that 66% humidity and winds. They're out of the south southeast now at six miles per hour. Look at Waco, 85 currently. These are warm temperatures, and that means we compound upon that as we go through the rest of the day. So we'll see temperatures climb quickly once that sun goes up again. South winds currently around five to 15 miles per hour. As we plan out your Tuesday, we're starting here in the lower 80s. By 10 o'clock, we're at 89, 95 by noon, and later on this afternoon, close to 102. I think the feel like temperature is going to be closer to 105 rather than the 109 you're seeing there. And we'll have temperatures going back into the mid-90s even by around 8 o'clock. 102 in Waco today, 103 Colleen and Temple should normally be at 94. The record, by the way, 107 in 1936. Not going to break that today, but it will be plenty warm out there. Mid-70s later on tonight. In fact, a few 80s could be possible once again. A few showers off to the west. These are monsoonal showers over New Mexico. Be nice if we could get some of those here, but... That's where they're going to stay. Once again, heat advisory is up across the Midwest. We'll be hotter than them, but because our criteria uh, requires more, we uh, won't have a heat advisory in effect here. That may change by the weekend as we start to warm up again. Future track shows you we're dry today for the most part. No showers really expected, although you're seeing little blips on the radar. That tends to be overestimated here as we go through this time of year. High pressure, that's why we aren't seeing showers showers rotate around it. That high pressure builds right over us coming up Friday into Saturday. The hottest temperatures occurring this weekend, at least until high pressure can back off to the west on Sunday. And that could allow for a little front to come in late Sunday into Monday. It'll heat us up on Sunday and then on Monday we may actually get some good shower chances trying to work on in. Till then, triple digits roll on. 102 today, 101 on Wednesday, 103 on Thursday, 105 Friday, 104 Saturday, 105 again on Sunday. There's the good news at least upper 90s potentially behind that front. All right, Josh, thank you. And if you